Hi everybody, hope this finds you all well. Uh, we're going to start our yoga practice tonight by lying down, but before you do, make sure you've got everything you need for your practice. So gather um, your belts, any blankets or blocks you think you may need as well. And then coming onto your mat and having a lay down on your backs for our pranayama practice. Have your knees bent, bring the soles of the feet onto the floor and allow the knees to come together so your legs feel supported. Tuck your tailbone under so the lower back comes a little bit close to the mat. And just move around so that your back feels supported completely by the floor. Have some length in the back of the neck by tucking your chin in and then gently close your eyes. Your arms can be resting on your abdomen or down by your sides, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Have your eyes closed and then allow your awareness to be with the breath. So breathing in and breathing out through the nose. Noticing the rate of the breath, the depth of the breath. Perhaps noticing that the breath begins to settle as your body begins to relax. And if any other thoughts come into your mind, just let them go, float, let them float away and bring your awareness back to your breathing. If you haven't already, then gently place the palms of your hands on your abdomen and take your awareness into your hands. Feel as though you could breathe deep down into your hands. You may be able to feel the hands move as you extend the breath to the very bottom of the lungs. Feeling the breath in that upper abdominal region. And when you're comfortable, allow the arms to rest down by your sides with the palms facing down. And the next time you breathe in, allow the arms to float up so the fingertips point towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, Allow the arms to float back down to the floor alongside your hips. So breathing in, still thinking upper abdominal. And breathing out from the abdomen, allowing the arms to float down. Breathing in, arms lift. And breathing out, lowering to the floor. Continue to breathe in this way at your own pace. Beginning to have a sense that the breath carries the arms up as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, the arms float down on the breath. And the next time the arms are down by your side, allow them to rest there. We're going to take the awareness into the mid chest now. So if you like to place the hands on the rib cage, you can either cup the rib cage with the palms of the hands or perhaps tuck the fingers underneath. So the fingertips are pointing up to the armpits. And then breathe in and breathe out with your awareness in the mid chest. Perhaps noticing the movement of the rib cage as you breathe in and as you breathe out.
Good, mid chest breathing. When you're ready, allow the arms to come up in front of you, fingertips pointing to the ceiling and the palms are facing. As you breathe into the mid chest, allow the arms to come down by the sides. And as you breathe out from the mid chest, the arms float back up in front of you. Breathing in, the rib cage expands and the arms come down to the floor. And as you breathe out, the rib cage contracts and the palms are drawn close to each other. So once more, continuing to breathe into the mid chest, using your arms as an extension of that breath. Mid chest breathing. And after a few rounds, feeling as though the arms are simply an extension of your breath. Good. And when you next breathe out, just allow the arms to come down. This time place one hand on top of your collarbone, at the very top of the ribcage. And we're breathing in and breathing out into the upper chest. You may or you may not feel any movement underneath your hand, but simply use your hand as a point of focus for your breathing. Good. Making sure before we go into the next stage that you have space above your head, because we're going to take the arms overhead. So if you need to shuffle down your mat a little bit, then please do. Take the arms up to the ceiling and as you breathe in, breathe into the upper chest and the arms come down overhead. So the thumbs move down towards the floor. And as you breathe out, the arms are drawn back in front of you. So breathing in, the arms go overhead. And breathing out, taking the arms back so the fingertips pointing to the ceiling. Breathing in overhead. And breathing out in front of you once more. Continue to breathe in and out from your upper chest, using your arms as an extension to that breath. Upper chest breathing, and the arm movement is simply an extension of your breath. And the arms float overhead as you breathe in and in front of you as you breathe out. And on your next out breath, Allow the arms to release down by your sides. Keep your eyes closed. And allow your awareness to be with the breath, your natural breath now. So allow the breath to flow wherever it wants to flow. No need to control the breath. And allow your awareness to be with the breathing, observing once more where the breath naturally flows, the rate of the breath, the depth of the breath.
and then gently opening your eyes and taking a stretch out in any way that feels good for you. I'm going to stay lying on my back for the next part of the practice. Start with your knees bent, draw your right knee into your chest and interlace the fingers around your knee. And take a few circles with your knee, using the hands to guide the knee if that helps. So circling around in one direction. And then circling in the other direction. And then drawing that right knee into your chest. Allowing that foot to come to the floor, lifting your left knee, interlace the fingers around the left knee, and as before, circle the knee in one direction. Noticing any differences on this side. and circling in the opposite direction. And then draw the left knee into the chest. So use the hands to draw the knee nice and tightly in, perhaps beginning to feel some contact between the thigh and the abdomen or the rib cage. And then release that left foot to the floor. Release the arms down by your sides. And we're going to work with the breath now. So breathing in, draw the right knee into the chest without using the hands. Breathing out, extend the heel up towards the ceiling. Flex the toes back towards your face. Breathing in, knee to chest. Breathing out, return the foot to the floor. And go to the left side. Breathing in, draw the knee to the chest. Breathing out, push the heel up towards the ceiling, straighten that leg, flex the toes towards your face. Breathing in, bend the knee, draw the knee in, and breathing out, foot to the floor. So right side again, breathing in, draw the knee in, breathing out, extending the leg so it's straight, pushing the heel to the ceiling, breathing in, knee to chest, breathing out, extend the leg all the way along the mat this time. Left side, breathing in, draw the knee in. Breathing out, straighten that left leg, push the heel up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, draw the knee to the chest. And breathing out, extend the left leg all the way along the mat. So continue that movement now. On your own breath. Right leg and then your left leg. Feeling that with each repetition, the knee can come a little bit closer to the chest. The leg, when you straighten it, becomes a little straighter. Perhaps the toes come a little bit closer to your face. Take one more round on both sides. So wherever you are, just finish that side and then take one more round. And when you finish, just allowing both legs to stay extended along the mat. Again, without using your hands, we're going to draw the right knee into the chest. Breathe out, straighten the right leg as far as you can. Push that heel away actively, flex the toes back towards your face. Draw the toes towards you, keeping this leg completely straight. 
Imagine that you're aiming for maximum length from the tailbone to the heel. So this leg is really long and straight and we're drawing those toes back towards the face. And hold there, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna pulse that leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee into the chest and extend that right leg along the mat. Breathing in, draw the left knee in. Breathing out, extend the left leg. So the heels pointing up to the ceiling, toes back towards your face. How straight can you get this leg? How close to the face can you draw those toes? And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, keep pushing the heel away, two, one, and pulse the toes closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee into the chest and extend that leg away along the mat. Good, one last movement on the floor. Draw the right knee into the chest once more. Interlace the fingers around the knee and draw that knee in towards the body. We're now gonna take the hands on the back of the thigh. So just open up the knee a little bit so that you've got space to interlace the fingers around the back of the thigh and draw that knee in. Then we're going to take unbend the knee a little bit but not fully so that the sole of the foot is parallel to the ceiling so my shin comes up almost like a pillar from the floor and my foot is parallel to the ceiling okay we're drawing strongly in here with the hands drawing the thigh in towards the chest the abdomen if you can reach your foot with both hands, go ahead and reach the foot. But we want to keep the ankle over the knee, so avoid the temptation if there is any to, for, for the knee to swing out or indeed in and to be drawing the foot directly down. We want to draw the foot down so the ankle is coming down to, into the knee and then the knee is drawing down into the floor. Aiming for the knee to stay in towards the armpit and not to come out to the side too much. So it's a half happy baby pose. We're drawing the foot directly down towards the floor, ankle stays above the knee, and both hips stay down. Okay, so if you're super enthusiastic, you might get the knee to the floor and then this other leg hip lifts. Avoid that happening. So keeping both hips down, drawing that knee in towards the armpit using the arms to create that stretch. Good. Release the leg. Give it a shake out if that is useful. And then draw the left knee in to the chest. Once more, actively draw it in so that you have contact between the thigh and the abdomen or the chest. And then holding around the back of the thigh. So open up the knee a little bit. Hold around the back of the thigh and squeeze in. Lift the foot so that the ankle comes above the knee and then flex the foot so the foot, sole of the foot's parallel to the ceiling. Draw the knee in and if you can reach up and hold onto your foot, that's great. Know that it's just as easy here to use a belt. So if you can't reach the foot, hook about over the sole of the foot and draw down on either side of the belt. Once more, ankle over knee and we're drawing that energy down all the way from the foot, the ankle to the knee, into the armpit. Keep that knee tucking in, remember. Keep the ankle over the knee, drawing down equally and evenly on the sole of the foot. Keeping both hips down on the floor. And release, give the legs a shake out. And just for fun, 
Let's go for a happy baby pose in full. So drawing both knees in, lifting both feet up. You can either hold on around the shins and draw the knees down, hold the ankles, draw the knees down, or perhaps hold the soles of the feet. This is where, you, again, you need to be careful that the knees aren't coming out to the side. So keep the ankles directly over the knees and draw downwards with your hands. If you draw, if you draw down really strong, your hips will lift, which is fine, but you might find that you'll get a better stretch if you keep the hips down and then draw the knees down in towards your armpits. And holding for five, four, keep drawing the feet down, three, two, one, and release. Give the legs a shake out. Roll over onto your side, coming into a seated position. <laughs> 